Working with Square Enix uh, has been one of the most awesome opportunities that any game developer could have. They have a long running history of making high quality products and it's been a great learning experience as far as developing stories, developing gameplay and battle designs and learning trends. え、ロサンゼルスのダブルヘリクさんと仕事させていただける the main difference between Front Mission Evolved and the past games is that Front Mission Evolved is a real-time game, whereas the previous games were turn-based. Front Mission Evolved is a very rich universe, and we think it has rooms for lots of different game types. You know, in the past there's been Front Mission Gun Hazard and Online. At the start of the project, Hashimoto-san gave us the direction of trying to sort of capture the feel of the gameplay that occurred in the opening FMV of Front Mission 4. And that's sort of been our guiding light to try to capture that in a real-time setting. Uh, the biggest challenge in making Front Mission Evolved an action shooter was trying to capture that tactical combat nature of the past games. Uh, I think we were able to achieve that by creating enemy types which had very sort of distinct advantages and disadvantages, and then giving the player some tactical options to deal with that. For example, when we first introduced the Ballistic Wanzer, it's sort of a heavy Wanzer that uses hard-hitting missiles. Players were like, wow, he's really difficult. Uh, but over time, some tactical solutions came up to deal with them. Some people used the shield and sort of soaked up the damage as they encroached upon him and then would melee him to death. Other people uh, found the sniper rifle very effective and sort of taking advantage of its faster speed than the slow-moving missiles to sort of take pot shots at him at a distance. I think the fans of the series will really enjoy getting to feel what it's like to pilot a Bonzer. In the past, they've been able to sort of direct the action and see what happens. Uh, now you really get a sense of what it feels like to pilot one of these large machines. When you go skating in your Bonzer now, you really get a sense of the speed. You know, the controller shakes as you're moving, the screen tilts as you're turning left and right, and you see objects whiz by. It really gives you a better sense of what it would be like to pilot one of these large machines. The biggest challenge in bringing Front Mission Evolved to the next-gen consoles is that we're weaving in online elements to the game. So fans of uh, Front Mission and new fans to the game will be able to experience the universe with other players in a lot of the online modes that we have which is really exciting. The key elements from the previous Front Mission games that are alive and well in Front Mission Evolved are all the sort of tactical and strategic RPG elements from the previous games. You'll be able to customize your Wanzer. We've added a lot of really cool customization elements that you couldn't do in previous games. And we've kept battle skills. We've kept a lot of the familiar factions and areas that players might be familiar with. I think what makes Front Mission stand out from the crowd is its rich storyline. Marcus. Ramsey, wait! <laughs> Beta set, boss. Let's see if our target takes it. The story was crafted by Toriyama-san at Square Enix, and he has a real love for the series and an ability to craft an interesting story uh, that still has some really interesting gameplay in it. え、皆さんが遊びやすいジャンルっていうのを両方ご用意して、今までのユーザーの方、それから新しいユーザーの方、皆さんに楽しんでいただけるように全力で制作しています